Hello, everyone, and thank you once again for joining us here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. My name is Brent Beardsley, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the amazing animals that you can find here in our Discover Utah Hall. Oftentimes people look at our Utah Hall and they say, oh, I live in Utah, I know all the animals here. But it's here that you can find some truly unique animals. Join us as we take a deeper look into some of these animals and what it takes to care for them here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. So our goal with this hall is to really highlight the species that are native to Utah or other species that you might happen to find in Utah, including uh, game fish that have been introduced for sport. You know, we're, we're showing these animals to people who live here. We want to make sure that the environment is accurate and looks right. So we follow Utah's water systems um, from Southern Utah to Northern Utah. It represents where we live. It's practically your backyard. So I really like it because all of these fish we can find in Utah. So we have a really great North American River Otters habitat. They have it both an indoor and an outdoor habitat. And then we also have a back holding area with three different bedrooms that they can go explore as well. Caring for these animals at first may seem to be a simple thing. We live in Utah and we're here in Utah. It should be easy. But when you really stop to think about Utah and its environments, you'll realize that there is a huge diversity and some unique challenges. One of my biggest challenges is trying to keep things natural. Uh, I have a hard time using real plants because uh, we don't have great lighting in here. We have to put artificial plants in the water so the fish have somewhere to hide. It gives them like little spaces. It makes them feel safe. You know, there's a lot of challenging habitats here to recreate. Um, the most involved one is probably the North American river otter habitat. This is the largest one. And we have an indoor portion and an outdoor portion of that yard. So some of the challenges that we face when taking care of the otter habitat is they have lots of areas in the water that we have to keep nice and clean and scrubbed. We have a whole life support team that does a great job taking care of the water quality to make sure that everything is healthy for the otters. There are a lot of uh, streams and rivers in Utah and we can't really do the long drawn out high flow environments that they have. So we try to replicate that with life support pumps and uh, high flow so we can get some of the dissolved oxygen levels that they require. When people think about aquariums and zoos, they usually think of exotic animals, large things that you can't find anywhere else in the world. But the reality is, here in Utah, we have unique animals that you can't find anywhere else in the world. We want to highlight some of these animals to help answer the question, why are they here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium? Our goal with these local animals at the aquarium is really to highlight the endemic fish of Utah. So we have animals like the razorback sucker that has a special foil across its back to make it more aerodynamic that you wouldn't see throughout the rest of the country. It's really important that we have otters here at the aquarium to teach people about our local ecosystem. A lot of people don't realize until they come here that we have North American river otters here in Utah. We come to an aquarium and we're excited to see these beautiful animals that live in the ocean like sharks and sea stars and octopus. And we don't realize that here in our own backyard, we have lots of really cool, unique animals um, that only, can only be found here in Utah. A lot of people don't realize, you know, like the June sucker that can only be found in, in Utah Lake, um, just how cool and unique it really is. Uh, it's important that we showcase Utah animals, even though we live in Utah, because it's important to know about your own backyard. You can learn about things that you never even knew we had. We have boil toads in the wild you can go find. We have bees you can go find. We have all these fish. We have trout you can go find in the wild. So it's really good to just, you can come here and kind of learn about the animal. And then when you see it in the wild, you're like, oh my gosh, I learned this at the aquarium. I know that what this animal is. Many people, in addition to loving to learn about animals and to see them, want to do something to help them. Our Utah Hall is unique in that it highlights and showcases animals that are here in our home state. Animals that we can take simple actions to have a direct beneficial impact on. 
One way that we can help these animals in the wild, you go on a hike, stay on the trail. Don't go off the trail because you're on your trail and there could be a little mouse hole right next to you. It could be like a walking path for deer. So it's really good to stay on the trail and not to disturb anything that is off trail. Don't go off trail. Don't take anything home with you. Leave it there. So if you see a North American river otter out in the wild, um, it's really helpful if you can contact the Division of Wildlife Resources and let them know how many you saw and where they were located so that they can track the population. Uh, I hope that people come away with an appreciation for how important water is in our native environment here and how rare of a resource it is. You know, we're the second driest state in the nation and um, we have a lot of animals here, including us, who really need this water to survive. And so we need to be very conscientious about how we're using the water and not wasting it so that we have enough to go around. Uh, one thing we can do to help our animals thrive in the wild is really think about how we take care of our environment. So not littering, not polluting, uh, making sure that our waterways and uh, airways are very, very clean and pristine. And the more we can do that, the better the animals will do overall. So those are some of the actions that we can take. In addition to those actions, Another simple action that you can take anytime you visit us here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium, or when you go to our website, thelivingplanet.com, is to adopt an animal. Our animal adoption program allows you to donate money that goes directly to helping care for our animals here at the aquarium. Doing this can also raise awareness for their wild counterparts to help care for them and sustain them in the wild. Thank you once again for joining us as we took an in-depth look at our Utah Hall here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. And we look forward to having you join us again for our continued adventures and discovery.